This video I'll be um, showing you how to download and I'll be showcasing the Silic mod. So you're going to want to go to this website, it's in the description of the video, and download it for whatever, um, for whatever forge you have. So I have this one, so I'll just download it. You wait a bit. Alright, so you're one. it's not a virus, don't worry, so you're going to keep it. And then you're going to click Windows R on your keyboard. It's going to open this tab. And then you're going to want to type in Windows App Data with percents in front. Then OK. It's going to open. And here you're going to want to select the Minecraft file. Double click. And then go on the Mods file. And here you're going to drag it from your Chrome into that. Now if you have other mods you might want to remove them. Alright so now that um, the um, uh, it's in your mods folder you're gonna open your Minecraft launcher and if you already have Forge so you're gonna launch uh, your Minecraft launcher then click on here and select Forge. If you haven't downloaded Forge 1.16.5 or any other forge I'll put a link in the description to another video so now you're gonna click play and wait for the game to launch alright so now that you got it downloaded and you have minecraft open you're gonna create a new world I'm just gonna call this test world uh, you can do whatever um, game mode you want and then just create the new world So. Now that you have your mod downloaded, um, what you're, uh, you're gonna be on this tab here usually, or like here. You're gonna click on this arrow at the top, and you're gonna get over here the menu for all the items added in this mod pack. So there's quite a lot, and there's more on the other tab. All right, so um, there are a lot of things in this mod. One of them is, uh, or one section of them is these sorts of like rods I guess uh, so one of them is you're kind of like an evoker and you can do this and you can spam it so yeah um, then there you there is this thing which is like an ender pearl but it never goes down like I'm just gonna teleport there or there right uh, its fuel is like ender pearls then there's this thingy, which if I go inside of the house, it teleports me to the nearest surface that's like above. Next is that, I think you can you understand what that is. Um, so then there is this, which it looks like snowballs, but it actually just paralyzes everyone. So if I do that. Paralyzed. Oh. And it does a fair amount of damage, but you can combine it with this. And also for this, you don't need to have, um, uh, for it to be like thundering or something. Then there's this thing which just par- Uh, oh yeah, there you go. It just paralyzes, uh, the entity you shoot it at. Oh, and he's dead. Oops. Um, so that's that, and then, if somehow I die, also crystal armor is pretty overpowered, but if I were to die, there you go, so, basically the thing I'm holding here, it's like eight totems, but in one, in one thing. Alright, so, um, the first item out of these items is gonna be the cloak of invisibility, so it just makes you invisible, as you can see. Uh, then this thing makes you not starve. This is actually pretty interesting. If I go up and then I just switch to survival, I'm not going to take any full damage, as you just saw. Then the next item is the parachute. If you go up, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just go up, and if you drop... It'll just give you slow falling. You need to be falling for long enough. You can't be falling for like from up there to down here. <clears throat> um, 
so then this thing makes you not take any knockback. I can't really show that here unless I... Alright. There you go, I don't take any knockback. But that does hurt. Oh, that's another item. Oh, there you go. So now we have him right there. So I don't need to worry about him now. So then the next item is the speed charm. So I'm just going faster than I would without the thing. There you go. All of these just need to be in your inventory somewhere. And they'll be you'll like used except for that. Uh, so if I go somewhere deep enough. Uh, I kind of just need to wait now. Alright, and now. I'm not taking any drown damage. Oop. So I can start, it will do one tick of damage, or like, it will do one damage. Uh, but then after that, I won't take any more. So I can just stay down here and do whatever I want. Then, so back to this thing. Once you've captured your mob, you can throw it back. It needs to be on solid ground, and he's still mad at me. Alright, so you'll be going back in here. Alright. So this is the set of items. All right, so the next set of items is this. So the first one is the climbing gloves. So I can just do that. I'm in survival. Uh, if I break that, I can just go up. Pretty nice. So then I have this thingy, which if I go down here, now I just swim really fast. I think this is Dolphin's Grace speed. I'm not sure though. So, uh, then we have the three boomerangs. They'll just do the same thing, really. You can throw them and they'll just come back like a boomerang. But they each have special abilities. This one gathers items. This one, um, they all gather items. Uh,. But uh, this one attacks your enemies, this one stuns your enemies, and this one just returns to you and with the items. So, um, then, then there are the ender pearls, if I just do that. Um, the end items, I guess you could call them. Uh, so this one, this it's like an ender pearl, but you write it, so it's pretty fun. You can do some fun stuff with it. This one is just a normal ender pearl. Ow. Um, so one of them is just an infinite ender pearl. It does a bit more damage. I'm, maybe? I don't know. Oh no. Um, and then uh, this one you, you already saw. But it's pretty fun. Then these thingies. If let's say there were uh, there was... Um, this guy, I just do this, and I'm back at spawn. And if I want to go back to the village, I just do this. I mean, it's not back to where you were, it's back to where your spawn, like your bed spawn is. So it's pretty good for travel, they just have a pretty long, um, like you have to wait pretty long until they recharge. This one, just, uh, if you throw it, it just tells you whether there are any spawners nearby, and if there are, it just goes into the ground towards the spawner. This one is like, you can just, inf it's like the, it's like this one, I mean this one. You can just infinitely throw Eyes of Ender, and you can also fill up the portal with only one of these. So the next set of items are the hearts, so basically they're like, they're like health boosts, so with this one you gain hearts, and I don't think there's a limit, so you can keep going. I mean, you can try it yourself and let me know if there's a limit. Uh, and then these ones make you lose the heart you've gained, but they also give you XP quite a bit, because as I'm level 95, I need a lot of XP to level up. So they give you quite a bit of XP. Okay, so there's also a minimum, which is the min a minimum of one heart. So, the next set of items are the apples. They're, these are all the apples. There's, of course, the normal notch uh, and golden apples and apples, but these ones are the special ones. So, these ones, they all have themes, you could say. 
This one makes you water breathe because it's like prismarine from ocean monuments. Uh, this one gives you jump boost, invisibility, weakness, and bad luck. So if we just... Oh, they're also like broken uh, numbers or like not vanilla ones. This one uh, gives you... So you can eat, uh, you can jump even higher. This one uh, gives you slow falling, strength, luck, and haste. This one gives you night vision, water breathing, conduit power, slow falling, and speed. This one gives you health boost, resistance 3, and um, that's it. And then honey apple, this one is probably a bad idea, but um, you can do this, I guess. Uh, so it gives you levitation, resistance, bad luck, and slow falling. So you shouldn't die uh, by using this. And then this is just kind of an overpowered apple. It just gives you resistance and health boost. All right, uh, so that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. I can cover every single item because then the video would be like an hour long. And I also didn't cover all the blocks that are added. Uh, but I covered most of the important um, objects. There's like emerald armor and crystal armor. Uh, there's some things that make you like uh, immune to some to specific thing. Special tools, but that's pretty much it for this mod pack. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.